Hello, my name is Mike Estella. I'm an application engineer with Photron, and today I'm going to be talking about the record while saving feature in PFV4. This feature is only usable when you partition up your camera's memory, and it allows you to record into subsequent partitions while simultaneously downloading partitions that have already been filled. A few things to note before I get into the demo. This feature is available with the following cameras. The FastCam Nova R and S series, the FastCam SAZ, SAX, and SAX2, and the FastCam Mini AX and WX. All right, to begin, go ahead and connect to PIA V4. And in the bottom right, you're gonna click on record settings. This will open up a menu. And here's where you can set your camera's partitions. And you have some features for operations after recording. The FastCam Nova, SAZ, and SAX and X2 can record up to 128 partitions, and the FastCam Mini AX and WX can be split up into 64 partitions. So uh, for this example, I'm going to put 30 partitions for my camera. And to enable the record while saving feature, uh, there's a box down here. We're gonna check this box, record while saving. Uh, the, the software will automatically check all of the other required operations. Uh, when we're done with all that, we'll hit apply. It'll, it'll prompt us that the memory partitions will be overwritten after all the partitions are used. We'll hit yes, and then we'll hit OK. So this feature really shines when you have to record a large number of partitions, as it can greatly reduce the overall time you would spend first filling the partitions and then offloading them onto the PC. This will allow you to do both simultaneously. So again, in this example, I have 30 partitions on the FastCam Nova. And when I click the record button down here, it'll prompt me to select a path to offload my partitions. Now you can um, edit that path here that you want to save your partitions to, edit your file name, and do things like change your file format. Once you've got all those settings to your liking, uh, we'll go ahead and hit OK. So now it knows where we're going to be writing those partitions into. And the camera is armed and is waiting for a trigger. Now every time I send the camera a trigger signal, it'll fill up the partition and automatically start downloading it into the path that I've selected. I'm going to go ahead and give the camera a couple of triggers here, and as you can see, it's creating uh, a partition that it's already offloading for each time I trigger the camera. And I can move this box if it's kind of getting in the way and annoying to me. So I have 30 partitions, so I can keep triggering the camera all the way up to 30. And after I fill up all 30 partitions, the recordings will loop back and begin recording into partition 1 and 2 and so on. There is the potential for the camera to catch up with itself if there's minimal time between triggers. In this event, the camera will wait for the currently full partition to offload before recording into it. Data will not be recorded over until it has been offloaded onto your PC. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that right now. It's currently offloading about partition six. It takes about eight or nine seconds per partition. So if I were to start rapid fire triggering the camera, let's go ahead and do that now. Um, once I fill up partitions, it will not allow me to start another recording until another partition is opened up. All right, so now we're looping back into the first, second, third, fourth, and so on partition, because we've already offloaded those, so they're opened back up. And right here, I've kind of caught up, so I'm, I'm triggering the camera, but it won't allow me to trigger again until there's a freed up partition. So you can catch up um, to your partitions if you keep rapid fire triggering the camera. So we can go all the way back up here and see where our progress is. And as more partitions fill in, um, you'll be able to trigger more recordings and um, create more partitions. And you can keep creating partitions until you, know, you theoretically run out of hard drive space. And uh, that is the record while saving feature. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this demonstration. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to contact our tech support, which can be reached at 858-684-3555. Or you can reach me directly via email. My email is mike, M-I-K-E, at photron.com. That's mike at photron.com. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.